Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will mention delay using Cystic on Atomic. Okay. Uh, first, let's start system clock. How can you calculate system clock? HC value HSI value over PLLM times PLLN over PLLP value gives system clock. And System frequency divided by 1000 is 1 millisecond delay. If we divide to 800,000, is 10 microsecond delay. Okay, this is important. Let's start. Code. Just click file and new here. Click C project. Let's give a name. This delay. Good. Just click embedded C project. Next. I'll select MCU. Okay. MCM32 record 07 PG. I'm using STM for for uh, discovery board. Okay, click next. Debug if it is still in. Next, and finish. By the way, I'm using this port. Project is building now. Huh? <coughs> Just delete these lines we don't have. Okay. Now, first, in the folder of SRT, click system underscore ATM for to a four ATC. Okay. As you can see, it says system clock 108 megas. Okay. And before, as you can see, system clock clock, you can see. And here, let's click like this. Device, temper, say, for it, click, in blue. Click this one. As you can see, to find HC value, it gives 25 megahertz, but our external uh, oscillator has 8 megahertz, so we change to 8. Just save it. And then click this, uh, system on the story cell for the for it is. <coughs> If we have to change PLLM may to 8 okay. as you can see here HC value 8 megahertz over M now 1 megahertz times a PLLM uh, 336 megahertz over PLLP is which is 2 is 168 megahertz okay gives this one and here as you can see system clock clock on and that's me guys uh, I'll toggle this so first I will create uh, configuration file okay so it's config uh, nothing in return okay uh, just Enable the uh, HP1 clock line control. Here, here, just 
ini buat di gtiodi itu oke ini sih ini buat script eh gtio structure gtio Sagam four legs, okay. On this young thirty four box. The these pins it was thirty four minutes. I'm just looking. Let's start ready. And now in the configuration, we need to write this config. The function initializes the system timer and its setup and starts the system kick timer count using pre-run mode to generate periodic interrupts. Okay. Param uh, the parameter is kick number of ticks between three interrupts. Okay. Here we use system clock block. I mentioned before. Here system frequency over 1000. Sorry. That's why this this is uh, in every one second. Uh, sorry, in every one millisecond gives uh, for uh, interact in initializing. Okay, one millisecond. One second. Oh, can see. And let's write another thing. Let's go on the click. System at the end of the policy IP. You can see here, system candle. Okay. We use this one, system candle. Sorry. Just delete or cut. I, I won't use in this file. In every one millisecond, uh, this interrupt will occur. 
this creates a stick uh, count variable. When set this to this interrupt, the interrupt, it count will be increased by one. And one more thing, let's create another function to the name so that you can say in end. This is delay. You the delay okay. here and enter the delay means system stick count zero Okay, for the this it counts smaller than the okay. This way that can count. But it is not first in this time. This way do I changed the other file because it's fine. In this called config. Okay. Uh, y1. Okay. Let's toggle all this in detail. Let's toggle. Uh, let's toggle this. Okay. You pay a deal. I'll copy. Here I will call play ms function play ms. Let's uh, create one second play because uh, every it waits okay here and this becomes increased uh, in every one, one millisecond and after one thousand milliseconds. Uh, the delay function is done. It exits from this function, and uh, there will be one second delay. Okay, just okay, just do this. I plug my board. This one. Okay. You can see 